בלא אלו אדוני ישמע אוכל מכל רועי ישמע עשב שחו אדוני ישמע צייסרו ויחו מיעטו ויעדו אלו מפרנס טייק הקוין פוטים דפושט און דיס ורי ספיישל דיי אברי דיי ספיישל אברי דיי זה רעי טיים טו גיב צדוקה טודי חוף אוף דה טוויינטי דיי אוף דה מונט אוף אוף אז ומנשנד יסטרדיי איז דה הילולה איז דה יורצייט אוף רב לייביק אז הוא וואז לובינגלי קולד רב לייביק סטיין בו רב לייבי יצחוק שניאסון the Rebbe's father who was the Rav in the big city of Dnepropetrovsk, Yekaterinislav, and as we have spoken yesterday, how unfortunately, because of his activism, because of his commitment and devotion to Yiddishkeit, he was, he paid with his life, basically. But let me share with you today a beautiful insight on a, a subject. And it, the subject is very well connected to now. We're coming from To be of, last week was Hamish also above the day of Avas Yisrael, the day of love. Actually, today it became also a big day of Shiduchim. <coughs> and we're getting already preparing for Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and Sukkot for the high holidays. And you'll see how all this ties in with the story in the Torah. And let me start. Avram Avinu, at one point, calls on his servant Eliezer, go find a bride, a wife for my son Yitzchak. We know the story He found Rivka and he was convinced that she is the right wife for his master's son for Yitzchak. After he made a proposal and the proposal was accepted, they say to him, and he was ready to go right away, so Vayoymer says the person, and that's in Pashos Chayisar, Vayoymer Ochiyah Ve'ima, her brother, There was Lavan and Ima, the mother. Teshev anari toni yomi moi oso. Let the girls, let the child stay with us. Yomim days, oi oso, oi ten. Achar telech, and after that she will go with you. And as we know, he insisted that good things you don't postpone, let us do now. What is the meaning in saying yomim oi oso? Days or ten. So Rashi says, Yomim actually means an entire year. Now if you won't accept a whole year, Osir at least ten, ten months. What is this idea? Why does not say simply, a year or ten months? Why giving it in an indirect, an indirect way, saying ten days or ten? So Reb Levi Yitzchak says the following. When we're referring to the story of the marriage of Yitzchak and Rivka, this also refers to the marriage between God and us. Between the Jewish people and Hashem. Every year during the high holidays, this marriage is renewed. Sukkot is the time of our rejoicing, which is the climax of the high holidays, the wedding itself. And just like a bride, the Jewish nation appears with adornments. We come to the wedding, how? With the lulav and the esrik. And in fact, the esrik is called in the Torah, pre eight hadar, a beautiful fruit, the beautiful bride. But before we get married, we need preparations. The bride needs to beautify herself. Make sure that her appearance is well, is good. So how do we prepare? So we have days, as the Pasuk says, Yomi Moy Oso, days or ten. When we're talking about days, minimum two. The two days obviously will refer to Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah, even at the soul, is always two days. It's universally celebrated two days. Ten, ten refers to Yom Kippur, which is the tenth day of the Aseris Yemei Tshuva. It's the tenth day of the month of Tishri. Between the ten and the two days, we have the word as it says, Yomim Oi Osir, days or ten. Oi is spelled Aleph Vav, total seven, so those are the seven days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. So this is what they are asking, we're asking, give us the ten days, the year, 
the year also. Why is it called the year? Because Rosh Hashanah is being the head of the year, and the entire year depends on how we're going to behave on Rosh Hashanah. And then the Pasuk says, Achar Telech, after that she will go. The numerical value of Achar Telech, which is 659, corresponds exactly to the Esrik, which is called in the Torah, pre eight Hadar, a beautiful fruit, 659. So this is what they are asking. We are asking to Hashem, you're giving us the opportunity to prepare ourselves for this ultimate wedding. And the ultimate wedding is obviously the year on, in Golis, it's on the high holidays. But the ultimate wedding is really with the coming of Mashiach. Ebishter, now.